Hey, welcome to another demo by LearningComputer.com. Today our topic is Microsoft Word 2013 new features. So um, a few things have changed. Uh, let's see what is new with MS Word 2013. Well, if you have not played around with Office 2013 products yet, there's definitely a new interface which is uh, definitely sleek and modern looking. So let me switch to uh, Microsoft Word here. I am uh, running a trial as you can see you know the ribbon um, or the tabs in the ribbon are the same you so you you are familiar with since 2007 with the home insert uh, you know tabs but you can see the icons have changed uh, the colors are um, minimalistic I'm not even sure that's a word but uh, you know a few things uh, definitely have changed they have this new uh, color scheme I guess uh, so Microsoft Word you can see that it's uh, blue if you switch to PowerPoint which is what I'm looking at it's some kind of orange um, orange red and whatnot so definitely uh, you know the the visual appeal is different in these products I'm actually going to go ahead and zoom in you'll see there's a little, little zoom in bar right there and now if I were to um, basically you know we are going to look a little bit further into that but uh, so that's one thing uh, that's changed you also have the ability to work with SkyDrive which if you have not played around with it that's the Microsoft Cloud uh, applications and storage that you get I believe six gigabytes that you can store documents share documents and work online basically you also this is an exciting feature in Word 2013 have the ability to not only open uh, PDF files which are the Acrobat reader files but you can also edit them so this has not been possible in the past you know you would have to get some kind of special agrobat reader uh, editor type thing uh, not anymore you can certainly do this uh, within word now you can also insert online pictures so this is a little bit different than before you know obviously you can insert pictures but now you can browse online while you're within word obviously you would need a connection to the internet and also YouTube videos um, and not only that you have a uh, new formatting uh, options and pictures so we'll uh, we'll take a look at that and then uh, towards the end of the demo uh, you know we'll go over some miscellaneous new features in Microsoft Word 2013 so speaking of the demo um, you know what are we going to talk about well like I just showed you a few seconds ago uh, we are going to look at the new interface this is definitely a modern look we will compare this to Word 2010 we will also talk about the integration with SkyDrive, which is the online cloud, cloud application from Microsoft. We are also going to edit a PDF document that we have on this computer. Uh, it's actually a document on SQL tutorials, but we'll take a look at it. We are going to add, and not only add, but format an online picture for our beer and wine tasting party flyer that we have and manage some of the layout options and we will continue with the demo and insert a video from YouTube on configuration manager in SQL Server so somewhat nerd sounding uh, demo but uh, I guess that is what it is as long as we can cover you know the features and you get some value out of it uh, that that's all we really need okay um, actually let me uh, minimize the I'm not finding, I'm trying to get the whole thing in here, but anyway. And then finally we'll cover some miscellaneous features in Word 2013. Things like read mode, uh, apps for office, table rows and columns. So I think that's a, that's a little bit of discussion there. Let me, uh, let me switch to, uh, like I said, uh, you know, Word. Uh, so, the, you know, let, let's do this. Uh, here's a ribbon, okay, you can kind of see what it is. So let's maybe, let's look at an insert. Uh, ribbon okay insert tab see here are the options in 2013 now I actually have um, Microsoft uh, 2010 up and running too I'm going to the go to the insert tab you can see that you know we have the same options there is a lot more color and um, uh, you know kinda like a faded look I guess if you will whereas when you come to 2013 it's definitely you know sharper but uh, less colors okay so that that's one difference between the two but overall I like that now another thing is let's go back to 2010 if you were to go to file okay you have options like obviously open a new file save a file look at recent files okay 
Now when I did open, <clears throat> this is you know the dialog box that you get and you you I'm sure have seen this in the past, okay? Now let's do this. When I go to Word 2013, if I go to File, okay, first of all this looks different. It looks, uh, you know, you kind of have the going back and forth uh, screen, so that looks nice. But when you click on Open, not only do you have recent documents, you have the ability to work with a SkyDrive, okay? So if I select uh, Cash Magal SkyDrive, that's me. By the way, you will have to sign into this and uh, if you have not played around with it, I would, um, you know, go to account, and this is where you basically set this up. Okay. See, I'm down here. We are already connected, and you would need to add a service. But anyway, coming back to open now, when I select Cache's SkyDrive, I can actually go to the right pane and click on Browse. This may take a few minutes. Okay, now you can see that I'm actually connected to my online storage from SkyDrive. So as you can see that, um, you know, these are, you can create folders just like a computer. I mean, that's not all, you know, same kind of concept. I have some kind of roadmap in there. I have uh, employee contact information, okay? So that is cool. You can obviously browse your computer. It gives you the option for desktop documents, downloads. You can even add a place. So you can add, um, let's say, Office 365 SharePoint and whatnot. So, so definitely, you know, it, it's uh, it's modern looking. You have the integration with SkyDrive. So that's what what I wanted to cover on the interface. Now the next thing we are going to look at is how to edit a PDF document. Okay. And in fact, I think I have, uh, I have some of these things open, up and running. Uh, <clears throat> let me actually close this one. I just want to show you how to open this. So I will go to Open, Computer, Downloads, and let's do this. Okay, see, you have the option for PDF file. So I'm going to do that. Here's my PDF file. I'm going to go ahead and select it and click Open. Now it's saying uh, this was now convert your PDF docu document to editable Word document and a few additional verbiage. Now down here <clears throat> you can see that it's converting the PDF into Word. How cool is that? Okay, We are actually looking at a PDF. <clears throat> this is by our friends from tutorialspoint.com. I'm just, uh, you know, not uh, not uh, just using it really for demo purposes not not doing anything so don't come after me me please but uh, let's say we wanted to add something in here and say definition of SQL okay and we'll make it a little more exciting we'll make it bold we'll make it underline okay <clears throat> I mean it's really editing you know just like any other document you could insert a picture if you wanted to okay I'm not going to do that for now but uh, let's just remember that uh, under what is SQL I actually went ahead and added some text in there okay and that's really it now you can go and you can do file save as if you uh, if you do save I believe it's going to save uh, it may save as as word but I'm going to say save as downloads okay <clears throat> And this time, instead of save as type Word, I'm going to go ahead and switch to PDF. Okay. And by the way, you can, uh, you know, you can, let's say, we'll just, um, we'll, we'll call it something else in here. Okay. Because I, I, wa I want to make sure that we have the two versions up and running. So we'll call it SQL Tutorial 2. Okay. Leave everything as is. Click on save. It may take a few moments to, uh, you know, to save this. <coughs> okay. And uh, yeah, in fact, look at this. It opens SQL Tutorial 2. But let me actually close this so I can actually show you in action. I'm going to, in fact, uh, let me just even close this one, okay? Uh, because we already saved it to PDF. If I go back to my directory, okay? And today is February 8, 12.38 a.m. Obviously, I don't have anything better to do than to make a video. But let's say we just click on Open, okay? And this is opening obviously you can tell acrobat okay 
Acrobat Reader, <clears throat> I mean Adobe Acrobat Reader 9, right? So let's drill down. Look at this. Right below what is SQL, we have definition of SQL. Okay, so this is definitely an exciting feature that, uh, you know, keep that in mind that you have the ability to uh, not only open PDF documents, but even edit them. Okay, so that's exciting. That's cool. Well, what else can we do? Well, quite a bit, actually. We can, uh, like I mentioned, we, are, we actually have a flyer for our beer and wine tasting, and I would like to add an online image. Well, how do I do that? Not a problem. Let me go ahead and open up. Uh, I'm just going to go file, open. I'm trying to do everything from here because um, sometimes it has a tendency to open things in the older version. Okay, so I'm just going to force it to use uh, 2013. So here's our beer, beer and wine tasting. By the way, if you're not doing anything, feel free to uh, stop by. It is on Valentine's Day. Okay, and I have some verbiage here. I'm, uh, you know, I have my address, so definitely come visit me. I have my phone number. Now, what if we wanted to spice it up a little bit? And let me, <clears throat> kind of, do this a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. You know, this looks kind of blah. Okay, so we would like to add an image somewhere in the middle. How do we do that? Okay, not a problem. We are going to go to the Insert tab, select going to select online pictures by the way you can, if you do pictures it's gonna ask you to pick something from your computer we don't want that we want online pictures right this is pretty cool you not only have option to go into office.com clip art you can uh, search on Bing you can even search your SkyDrive and you can also go to Flickr okay I'm going to keep things simple and I like red wine so <clears throat> let me type that in Hit this magnifying glass and look at that, voila. We have a few images pulled straight from the internet, okay? Now there are some licensing and copyright type things in here. Uh, that one looks good. Uh, you know, so be mindful of that, okay? You always want to review that and make sure you're not, uh, you know, using copyright information. But, uh, but look at this, we have all these images, okay? I think I'm I'm kind of torn between this one and some of the other ones, but let's just go with this one, okay? We got a couple of bottles, we got some grapes, so I select the image, hit it, hit insert, okay? Now look at this, and I'm actually going to <clears throat> zoom in a little bit so I can show you a couple of things, but not only did it put the image, but we have this little icon right next to it. Well, what is that? Let's click on it. These are our layout options, okay? Now, what if you want to move things around? This was a pain in the rear back in the day, but uh, what if I wanted to make it, uh, you know, basically a different kind of uh, wrapping around? How do I do this? I selected this middle option. It's called tight, okay? And look at this. As I am moving the image, right, the text with the party is totally wrapping itself around it, okay? So maybe I want to put it here. Not only that, if you were noticing, in fact, let me zoom out a little bit here. <clears throat> As you're moving this, you're seeing you're gonna you're gonna see some lines. So look at this. This line, the green line in the middle, is telling you that right now the image is aligned. Guess what? In the center. I mean that's pretty cool, I would say. Okay? Look at that. When I get this horizontal line, it looks like a cross now or a plus sign.